everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd film a monthly favourites. I've picked out a few of my favourite things from February, things I've been using, things I've run out of and things that you've probably already seen on my YouTube or Instagram too that I've been wearing a lot of. So there's going to be a lot of skincare, some accessories that I've been using and some recommended books and podcasts as well. So a bit of a mixture just to split up the styling content, which I know you guys love, but also there's so many other things that I wanna share on here as well with you guys of my most recommended favorites. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So I'm gonna kick this video off with some skincare to start, because I've got a lot of amazing products to show you and one which has really impressed me. So I'm gonna start with that one first. The first product I'm gonna to talk to you about today is a brand that I'm actually working with and it's a brand called Ionic. And this is the device I'm gonna to talk to you about today. So this is recently launched in the UK and they use their patented magnetic skincare technology to basically transform your skincare. So this device comes with three skincare products, one including tan, which I'm gonna to talk to you about today. And this basically screws into the bottom. So once the canister is attached to the device, the liquid from here goes through the machine and transforms into negatively charged droplets. So when you're applying it to the skin, which is naturally positively charged, it attracts to the skin so you're guaranteed an even and streak-free tan. So I was so excited to try this. I was really nervous as well because I've not had much luck with spray tans or doing it myself if it is a spray canister, but this is so easy to use. So all their products are vegan and cruelty-free and I'm gonna to talk to you about the tan today, but it also comes with the body serum and SPF as well. So I've gone for the medium tan and all you do is screw that off there and you can see the canister there. So you literally screw it into the bottom, give it a little wiggle and then you're ready to go. So before I turn the product on and show you how to use it, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the app that comes with this as well. So what I'll do is I'll pop a screen recording here so you can see. So it just asks you a few questions and then I've selected my skin tone on here as well. And then it goes on to ask you a few more questions. So you've got, what is your natural hair color? I obviously selected dark blonde because my hair's a bit of a mix at the moment and then it goes on to your eye colour and then it also goes on to how does your skin react in the sun and then basically when it gets to the end it suggests what type of skin you have so you've got skin sun and body and it tells you that you have seasonally dry skin which is correct so it then recommends which tan for you to use and which spf for you to use which is amazing so once you've downloaded the app you can then connect your ionic device to it so you literally just press this button here I'll pop a screen recording here so you can see as well. So when using this device, you've got to make sure that both buttons are pressed down to make sure the tan is dispersed. So before starting, I probably would just test it out in the bath or in the sink just to get the flow going and then you can start on your skin. So I'm gonna pop a video on here as well to show you how I did it. I literally did this a few days ago. So this was my first attempt at trying it out and it's so easy to use. As you can see on here, the droplets are so fine and you can see the liquid going onto my skin nice and easily. So after I tanned my arms, I obviously then did the rest of my body off camera. And the great thing about the app is that it guides you as well. So when tanning, always keep a 20 centimeter distance from the skin. I did go a little too close sometimes, but that didn't affect the results afterwards. So when you go onto the app, when you start tanning, you can select torso, back, arms or legs. So obviously I started with arms and then once it's connected to the device, you can go ahead and start tanning and it tells you how long to do it for. That section on the app is a really great guide for you to follow when you are tanning, if you are a little bit nervous like I was. But honestly, I had nothing to worry about. So what I'll do is I'll pop the results on here. So I tanned in the morning, I could literally get dressed within minutes, it dried instantly. Then I obviously went about my day, went to bed, woke up in the morning and these were the results. I was so impressed. So it didn't transfer onto my clothes, it didn't transfer onto my bedding 
and I just feel like it gave me a really gorgeous natural glow. So throughout the week, I'd probably do a second layer as well because I love the color of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate the body serum on here as well so you can see how it works. So every time you add a canister, just make sure you turn it off before taking it out. So obviously you can still see my tan is streak free, especially on my hands. Like I cannot believe how natural it looks on my hands. And that is a place where I always seem to like gather tan. I've popped the body one in there turn it on and then you've just got to make sure you press both buttons at the side and then just glide down your arm this one smells gorgeous one thing i should mention as well the fake tan smells incredible it doesn't smell of biscuits you don't wake up in the morning feeling sticky or that horrible smell it smells gorgeous it's actually really sweet i can't describe the smell this is really great to use if you've used the fake tan to add that extra moisture into your skin but that's another thing i would say about that tan it's really moisturizing because i've actually got some eczema on my arms and it didn't stick to it and it's actually really smooth it's helped it so yes love these so much could not recommend this product anymore and it's a great one to take away on holiday with you as well because these literally unscrew you can pop the cap back on you can pop the case on and then it comes with this little pouch so it's really really easy to travel with another product that comes with it as well is the reset post tan treatment so all you do is pop this in the bottom after you've fake tanned and just squirt it into the bath or the sink for like five seconds just to clean out the filter so when you next use the spf for example or the body serum you're not going to get any tan in there so yes i'm super impressed with this it's such amazing technology and it's so easy to use honestly i was so nervous like i said to use it because i was worried it was going to go all streaky but because of their technology absolutely guaranteed not to be streaky I am the worst for probably applying fake tan on my back or anything like that and it was effortless, so easy and as you can see on the videos, it's really nice and flawless. So yes, a firm favourite, absolutely love it. So keeping in with skincare, I wanted to share with you my favourite face moisturiser that I've been using recently. So this was influenced by TikTok. Quite a lot of these products I'm showing you are influenced by TikTok actually. But my friend Lisa also uses this and she's a model and they use it on her face like all the time. And it's such a gorgeous base for any foundation. So this is the Walida Skin Food. So this has been around for years. So I have just discovered this in like the past year or so. And I'm so gutted I didn't know about it sooner because it is incredible. So I have used both the Skin Food Light and the Skin Food Original. The original is really thick, so I don't like to use that on my face. I just don't really like the consistency of it. Whereas this one is perfect to apply on the face. I use this on my knees and my elbows before I fake tan as well. I find that fake tan doesn't get irritated by this moisturizer it just glides really nicely on so that is empty now me and lee have been sharing this so i'm gonna order two more for both of us because it's great for his skin too i think it's great for all skin types but especially dry skin and the winter weather that we've been having hasn't been great on my skin and this has been an absolute savior so i'll link this below and i'll link the original as well if you've got super dry skin and you want to use it on your body then that one is really good for that the next skincare product i want to talk to you about is this milky jelly cleanser from glossier this is incredible so it's super light it's ph balanced so i'd never break out with this I literally ran out of this a couple of days ago and I've already started to break out on my forehead. So that's the results of not using it. It is amazing. Instead of using traditional soap, they use something called Polo Zema in their product, which is really gentle on the eyes and is actually used in contact lens solution. So for me, because I wear contact lenses, using this around my eyes, if it gets in, it doesn't irritate it, whereas other products tend to. So that is another reason why I love this because I literally cannot see a thing in the morning. So I can pop my lenses in, use this and I can actually see and it doesn't irritate me. So that is another great thing if you're a contact lens wearer. It's really great for sensitive skin, all skin types I'd say, and it's something that I use every morning, apart from the last few mornings. So I need to order some more of that. 
Another great thing about this is that it dissolves makeup instantly. So I have actually run out of my Clinique um, take the day off cleanser, which I use to take the actual day off literally before I then do a double cleanse. Um, this works just as well too. So yeah, it's a great all rounder this one. My next skincare product is a drinkable skincare, which you're probably thinking, Nina, what the hell is that? So I was really intrigued to try this. So this is by The Beauty Chef and it's basically a collagen drink. Beauty Chef are all about beauty beginning in the belly. So here it says, a vegan drink concentrate with floriculture bio-fermented blend containing pomegranate and papaya extracts with zinc and vitamin C sweetened with stevia. Now, the word bio-fermented might put you off because I was like, what is this gonna taste like? But trust me, it's so nice. The consistency is like a syrup, so it's more like a syrup cordial that you pop in, I think it's like 50 milliliters, I think it is. So you use 15 milliliters of this with 200 milliliters of water. So you just need one a day. So that's what I've been using throughout the month of February and up until yesterday when I got my um, little spot, but that's hormone related. I've noticed my skin is just more glowy. So you've just got to see it as like a drinkable serum for your skin. So I know it sounds strange because this is the first time I've come across anything like this. I was really intrigued to try it. Because it does taste nice as well, it just feels like you're just having another drink in your day. So I like to have like my coffee in the morning with this as well and a glass of water too. So yeah, I'd highly recommend trying this, giving it a go. You do, obviously like you don't see results instantly. It's one of those things that you've got to continue to do. This would be great to drink like on the lead up to your wedding or you've got an event just to give you that extra glow and give your skin a bit of a refresh. So those were my skincare favorites that I just wanted to share with you guys. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is fragrance. So I actually bought Lee this for Christmas, but I've actually been using it as well because I am obsessed with the scent. It smells so different on him than it does to me, so it smells a lot sweeter on me. If you've not heard of Replica before, this is the Maison Margiela range that's basically inspired by like memories and locations. And when I first found this um, product range, it was actually in an airport and I just loved the concept. So they've called this one By the Fireplace and it's gonna take you back to Chamonix in 1971. The fragrance description is burning wood and chestnuts. You've got that really like woody scent mixed with the sweet chestnut. And I cannot, oh, I wish you could smell on video. <laughs> that sounds so weird, I've said this before, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I love all of his scents. So they have like beach walks. That one reminds me of being in Lanzarote. And then there's like Sunday morning, which reminds me of like fresh bedding, like birds singing. Honestly, it's bizarre how these scents take you back to a memory. I just really love the concept of these perfumes. And I think it's really clever how it reminds you of certain places. Like I actually took this home after Christmas. We went to see my brother. It reminded him of being in South Africa, sat by the fire and it just, things like that, it's like, it brings back memories for people. So I definitely take a look at this collection. There's some gorgeous spring ones coming out and you can actually get um, a little, it's called like a memory box and you get little samples of their range in there. I think it's about 33 pounds. I'll link that below as well so you can test out which ones you like. So I'm probably gonna get myself another one actually. So yeah, love that. Keeping on the theme of scents, I've got some home scents here. And this is the Sea Salt Candles from The White Company. So this is their newest scent and we've got the little candle here, then the botanical candle here. I love the botanical candles. I've actually still got my winter one here. This one is the fir tree one, so this is definitely for Christmas. I actually need to put it away to get it out again next year. So I'm gonna replace it with this one. But this one is currently sitting in the bathroom because it is sea salt. Oh my goodness, it's like a sea breeze in a candle. Just reminds me of being at the seaside. So it's got notes of obviously sea salt, vetiver, and cedar wood in there. So you're getting that really beachy smell. So it's perfect to have in your bathroom. I've got the diffuser upstairs as well. And then I light this one. And then I haven't lit this one yet because it's too pretty. <laughs> I don't want to light it just yet. So this is kind of just there for show, but because it's so big, um, the scent that it gives off, my bathroom always smells amazing. So 
Yes, love those. These are a great gift as well for birthdays. I know Mother's Day is coming up, so this would be a good option for that too. So I'll link those below with the diffuser. Now I'm gonna go on to accessories and actually talk about the things I'm wearing. So you'll have seen these a lot in my recent YouTube videos and I've been wearing them almost all of the month of February. These earrings, this ring and this necklace are from D. Louise. D. Louise is an ethical and sustainable jewellery brand. So they use recycled materials, they plant a tree with every order and I just love everything they're about. Their jewellery is beautiful. I love the vintage rope design of these and then I'll take this off so you can see as well. So these are a nice little matching set. They're so gorgeous and they're shower proof, waterproof, they haven't tarnished. I've actually washed up plenty of times with this ring on and it's exactly the same colour as it was. So I've tried and tested these. And then I've got this lovely herringbone chain here. And then another necklace that I love, which would be perfect for any birthday gift, is part of their horoscopes collection. So I am big on horoscopes and I'm a cancer baby. So we've got the little crab there and then it says cancer on the back. So I love this little one. I love the chain detail on this as well. So that is a firm favorite. I've been wearing this set like every day, so it's definitely a new favorite brand of mine. And actually finding a ring that fits these long, slim fingers of mine is really hard. So yeah, I definitely went for the smaller size in this one. And I haven't taken it off, quite frankly. I'll link all of the items below in case you guys are interested and just take a look on their website as well because they've got some beautiful products. Next on my accessories list is my newest bag. So this is new in for spring and it is my gorgeous Keifune bag. How beautiful is this colour? It's in a done in green and I'm loving the hardware on this as well. So Keifune is actually a Portuguese word that means brushing your hands through a loved one's hair, which I just love. That just makes you feel all like relaxed and soft and luxurious, just like these beautiful bags. So one of the founders actually reached out to me and wanted to gift me one of these and I was like, absolutely, yes please. They're beautiful. They're in the same price range as Pelen. You know I love Pelen bags. They're such great quality bags for the price. And I wanted to test this out as well and see how good they were. And so far, I'm really impressed. This is the small pendulum bag in pine. And I really love the strap detail on this because the gold clasps here unclip so you can adjust it nice and easily. And it looks nice too. So you can make it longer. You can make it shorter and you just pop the little clasp into the holes there like so so you can wear this cross body you can wear it on the shoulder there's really multiple ways you can wear this bag and i just think it's a great addition for spring i've been wearing this recently with my neutrals and my green scarf i'll pop a picture on here so you can see but i just think it's going to be a bag that i'll get my wear out of a lot this spring summer and autumn winter, it's definitely an all round season color. So yeah, love this new little addition. Next, I'm going to talk about another favorite accessory of mine. And if you've watched my What I Wore in a Week, I wore these so much, absolutely love them. These are my new Boots Boots. I always think of Monica and her Boots Boots in Friends when I buy new boots. So these are comfortable though, not like Monica's. These are my leather knee high boots from Flattered and I was in need of a new pair of staple black boots that were sturdy, well-made, and were gonna last me a very long time. So these came along and saved the day. Blooming love them. These are gonna be worn so much in the transitional period. I'll actually share some ways that I wore them on here, which you can find on Instagram as well. If you want some more outfit inspo, then head over to my Instagram where I've been styling these a lot more. But yeah, I just thought, I wanted to share one of my staples and something that I've been wearing with leggings, I've been wearing with trousers, tights, and then hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can wear them on their own with skirts and shorts too. So yeah, these are so well made, beautiful style boot. I'm really loving the wide style of them as well, so they fit really nicely on the leg. And like I said, super comfortable, a really nice heel height. And the black knee high boot really is a staple for me through autumn, winter, right into the transitional period 
before I pop them away for spring. So yeah, I've been definitely getting my wear out of these and there's something you're gonna see a lot of in the next couple of weeks too. So next, I'm gonna go on to books and podcasts. So in the evenings, I've set myself a rule where I come off my phone at about six o'clock, either watch Netflix, watch a film or read a book, listen to podcasts. Because in my job, I'm on my phone a lot. I'm either filming or editing or editing on my phone. So I need that time away for me to just fully relax and give my eyes and brain a rest. So I've been reading a lot recently and these two books I would definitely recommend you guys to read. So the first one is Daisy Mae Cooper's Don't Laugh, It'll Only Encourage Her. As we all know, the world is a heavy place right now and if you need a bit of escapism and you need a bit of a laugh, this is your book. I was in stitches. So I definitely describe this book as hilarious, but also parts of it are so heartbreaking. So Daisy and her family have gone through a lot. They've experienced poverty. She's had a real struggle to get where she is and make this country what it is. If you haven't seen this country with Daisy in, oh my God, it's amazing. Absolutely love it. It's TV gold. I've actually seen that she's brought out an audio book as well so I want to listen to it all again because I think her talking about the memoir and talking through her stories would be even funnier. But again then there's the other side to it where there is some harrowing bits in it and it and she really talks about her struggles. So you've got that mix in there. She's just so brutally honest. If you don't like rudeness or swearing then I'd probably not recommend this book because she does swear a lot in it. But it's just brilliant. I absolutely loved it. She's a breath of fresh air. So yes, if you're looking for a laugh and a bit of escapism, I'd definitely recommend this one. And then another one I've been reading, which I was so desperate to read, I ended up just downloading it on my um, Kindle app because I didn't want to wait for next day delivery. That is how much I wanted to read this book. So again, influenced by TikTok and my friends, this is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And this was not what I expected. So I went into it thinking, like reading the blurb and everything, like, oh, this is gonna be like a really glam Hollywood book, talking about all the scandals and stuff. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it does have that element in it, but it's also got like, I don't wanna tell you too much because I just want you to read it because it's not what I expected. But basically it starts off being set in like the 1950s. So you really can picture the characters. That is one thing I would say about this. The authors really describe the characters well. So, I mean, even from the front cover, I kind of was thinking along the lines of like your Marilyn Monroe's, Rita Hayworth, and it's definitely inspired by Elizabeth Taylor for sure. So you kind of, those kind of like golden age actresses are definitely what has influenced this book, I think. So yeah, there's a big twist in it, which I'm not gonna tell you obviously, which I didn't expect, but it sets the tone for the whole book. And then you get to understand why it's called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And it's not all glam, it's actually very sad. So yeah, I don't wanna say too much because I just want you to read it. Because if I tell you any more, I don't wanna spoil it. But anyway, yeah, really, really good. That touch of Hollywood glam, romance, heartbreak and yeah the ending oh my gosh the ending if you guys read this please tell me what you think at the end because it really shocked me i think it only took me a week to read this i could not put it down so i need a new book now so if you guys have got any recommendations send them my way i'll read anything really i mean I've gone from Daisy Mae Cooper's autobiography to Hollywood romance. I love crime, so recommend me anything. I will give it a go. On my last monthly favourites, I think I discussed the Happy Place podcast. I'm not sure if I did or not, but that's Fern Cotton's podcast. And I love it. It's just brilliant. But then I found um, Stephen Bartlett's, which is the diary of a CEO. I'll pop it on here. And he actually interviewed Fern. So that's what kind of got me into the podcast. And then he's interviewed so many different people. This is what I love about this one because there's such a variation of people that he gets in. So another one that I absolutely loved was the Rochelle Humes one. And this is called Learning to be at Peace with Uncertainty. And if you scroll up down the app, it tells you what topics they discuss. So he always starts starts the podcast with early years. So every person he interviews, he goes back to their childhood and asks them about that. And then they eventually go through like family and career and any scandals that's happened in their lives or anything like that, then they just discuss that as well. And it's just like a really open and honest podcast. And that's what I like about it. And then another one that I loved was, um, 
the one I've just listened to today actually, and that is with Julie Smith, who's a psychologist. So if you don't know who she is, she's huge on TikTok, and I've followed her for a while now. So she does like little like 30, 15 to 30 second videos on how to deal with anxiety and the difference between like anxiety attacks and panic attacks, which I've struggled with in the past. So it was really good to listen to her and how she got into this and how it motivated her to carry on going on TikTok and how she went from being a therapist to that. I mean, she still is a therapist, but how she's kind of gone into that direction as well. So that's really interesting. It's a really broad podcast talking about loads of different things and you get some really interesting people on there. So I definitely recommend having a listen to that. So that is something I've been listening to every morning after I've done my yoga or workout then whilst I'm getting ready, putting my makeup on, I pop the podcast on. It's just part of my little routine. There's just these things that I've started to add in like reading and listening to podcasts into my routine, which keeps me off my phone and scrolling and it just kind of like puts me in the zone as well. So yes, those were my monthly favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a nice relaxing one to film. As always, I'll link everything below and I will see you guys very soon.